We need to stop going out of our way to test whether people are woke enough or red-pilled enough. So what if someone doesn't believe the same way that you do? So what if they think poorly about some things about you? It's very likely that you think poorly about some things about them. You both think that the other side is ignorant. So what? People have biases. People have some weak opinions. People have some strong opinions. Whether we share those opinions with others is up to us. We're all just vessels of information and experience that can manipulate and be manipulated. The easier we are able to be manipulated by someone, the less of a threat we are to that person. We really need to understand that it is someone's actions that define them, not their beliefs. Someone could have the most disgusting beliefs imaginable, but if their actions are commendable, I mean, does it really matter that their beliefs are crap? And, and if there's someone who has the most woke or religious views possible, and they constantly go on and on about how virtuous their beliefs are, but they actually go around treating people condescendingly and they don't do anything to help anyone, what good are their virtuous beliefs? Now, I mean, it's true that there are some beliefs that can allow people to treat others more poorly than others, but it's still up to the individual to treat people any particular way. We need to stop getting offended at other people's beliefs. Sure, we'll judge those beliefs, but getting offended at them does us no good. Calling them names does no good. If we want them to change their beliefs, we have to give them a reason to change their beliefs. One that doesn't involve guilt trips and shaming. And if we don't want to do the work necessary to do that, then we are the assholes when we treat people like crap over it. This is all part of living in a multicultural society. It means that people are going to have beliefs that you find abhorrent. That some people will claim things as virtuous that you find disgusting. And the other way around. And that's okay as long as nobody's rights are being violated. Now don't get me wrong, the amount of power someone has when they do hold certain beliefs, yeah, that can make a pretty big difference. But that's not really what I'm addressing in this video, so... Anyway, thanks for watching.